Thank you for joining us for Easy Links tutorial number two. This specific tutorial is going to focus on managing your way through the calendar. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is be able to identify what day the current T-sheet is sitting on. And quite simply what you want to do is take a look here at the upper left hand corner and you'll see Tuesday March 5th 2013. Uh, this tells you what day on the T-sheet you're currently looking at. Uh, the next step is to be able to manage your way through the calendar. So if you were working in the golf shop and you took a phone call, needed to book a tee time for a day other than the current day, what you want to be able to do is to look up here towards the top of your tee sheet, see the different months listed across the top, and then also notice the day and date listed down below. So if I wanted to do something as simple as book a tee time on June the 1st, all I would do is come up and I would click June and then I would come down and find out that the first is Saturday June 1st so I click on that and I see that um, we now have the t-sheet sitting on Saturday June 1st and you can verify that by looking up here in the upper left hand corner and seeing that now at any point in time if you navigate away from the current date so now you're on Saturday June the 1st and you want to get back to the current date uh, so that you can book a tee time for the same day or check in a golfer you would simply come over here to the left hand side and you would click the today button and that would take you back to the current day's date now the last thing that we want to talk about in this short tutorial is understanding the tee time intervals and how to uh, know their availability so I'm gonna click on a date uh, let's say for example May 18th and as I click on May 18th what you're going to see is the tee time intervals listed here 630 639 each one of these slots represents an available tee time as we look across the top here 1 2 3 and 4 lets you know how many players are booked in that specific tee time and if you find the cells filled in that means they are either blocked or they are booked uh, with a golfer in that spot. So as you come down through here, you can see this specific day is a fairly busy day. And we're not seeing any availability actually until 10-11. So if a caller look, called looking for the first available tee time, you can see actually 10-11. Or uh, let me backtrack just a moment. You actually would see that uh, 6.30 to 6.56 is available as well. Now, one of my favorite tools on the Easy Links T sheet is what I call the legend at the bottom, and that helps me quickly identify what is available. So, if you see down here at the bottom, each one of these little cubes right here represents a tee time interval. And you'll also see that as you hover over it with your mouse, you will see pop up this is the 656 tee time, and there are four slots available. If I hover over this particular 1190 tee time, you will see it says all these slots are blocked or unavailable. So I find this very helpful at a quick glance when a caller calls in on a busy day and wants to know what's available. I simply start looking for the white cells. I hover over them and I'm able to tell the golfer, hey, we have a 10-11 tee time available. Or in this case, we have an 11-28 tee time available. So that is uh, how you tell the availability uh, on a specific day. Uh, when taking a call. So stay tuned for the next uh, tutorial and we look forward to teaching you more. Thank you very much.